and welcome to a new week. So today is actually Wednesday. How do I keep doing this? I keep forgetting to film on a Monday and Tuesday. It's been really mental and I will do a vlog about this another time. Um, I'm having to rearrange everything to try and uh, cope with the increased sales, which is wonderful, but there's there's like this this point where you've got to make, it's sort of like in limbo. Anyway, I will do a vlog about that another time. But today, um, I'm going out in a minute because um, I've got to go and chat to a builder about some workshop space that uh, we lease out. So um, I need to go do that. And then I'm going to have a cup of coffee with a friend that I've not seen in two years. Um, socially distanced, of course. Uh, and then I'm back in this afternoon printing and printing and printing. Um, I've managed to release two new projects. Well, by the time you see this, I'll have released two new projects this week, um, which are sunflowers and poppies, and they are bundles that you can have all together, sorry, um, or you can buy all the items individually as well. So it's the same set as the buttercup set. Um, so yeah, there's that'll be fun. And then um, yesterday I tried to do the penguin so traumatized i mean i was shaking the penguin looked traumatized you know this poor little penguin is like i videoed it but you know if if you are worried about uh animal torture <laughs> soft toy torture even maybe don't watch the next bit but we were super super kind to him and um yeah, we checked his vitals every 10 minutes because I was very concerned about this poor penguin. Um, but he's okay and recovering well. So uh, that's good. He's looking a lot less shocked this morning. So um, I'll show you that after this bit. Um, also, got to play with my new machine yesterday because I have 20 tear pads to make. So um, I was just trying to work out the settings that I need for... Um, for making it a tear pad so that was fun my printer is busy printing away more and more um sheets <laughs> they have like 25 sheets per pad um and my printer's really slow so i'm probably going to get both my printers on it later on um what else oh jane is back in the office she's helping organize me which is fantastic um so i'm really pleased for that just so I can have somebody here who goes, it's all right, calm down. And she bought cake. I mean, you know, you've got to love a girl who brings cake, eh? Um, I'm also getting some wonderful help from another Jane from Jane's Wax Melts and Candles. I think she's Crystals now. I know I've updated her logo and I can't remember. Anyway, she's... Um, she's doing some posts for me and doing some networking on weekdays for me because I am really struggling to get everything done. Um, if you see any, if you make any comments on my page though, it is me that is always replying. It's just she is sometimes posting and sometimes networking on other groups for me. So you may see me pop up all over the place, but if you are replying to anything on my page and it's always me that answers you um, and my inbox is always free. Oh, open for you guys if you want to talk to me. Um, I had a great response to my last vlog, actually. It's been really nice having comments to read in uh, in YouTube. I had a very bizarre comment two weeks ago where somebody accused me of not being me uh, and then gave me a thumbs down. It was just like... I mean, it was really laughable. I'm not Jenny Cole. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it said... You are not the real Jenny Cole. And it's like, who is the real Jenny Cole? Am I not Jenny Cole? Ooh. So anyway, I had a whole identity crisis last week. Um, but uh, Kathleen <laughs> Stewart who lives in Australia. She helped. <laughs> so you may see her comment. You may you could go back to um, two weeks ago and see the comments on the vlog. Um, but Kathleen is wonderful. Huge shout out to Kathleen and her amazing art gorgeous uh right okay so yeah i've got lots to do today um oh i also experimented with paypal postage yesterday i'll let you know how that goes um 
I can now post directly into letterboxes or just take to the post office and then just check the weights and they can um, they stamp it with um, to say that you've posted it proof of postage that's the word um, so that's kind of fun because you know I'm taking more parcels now and the weight is ridiculous and the other day I swear blind the lady at the till charged me a small parcel for my large letter I mean I quite often have to tell them no that is a large letter because I have the maximum size box for a large letter um, and I'm sure she charged me a small parcel but uh, at the time I was like nah yeah no yeah yeah, I was having an entire internal monologue going on. Um, and I left the shop being even more confused. So I thought, probably best to do postage as I'm going. And then I can drop them in parcel boxes if I want to. So I'm going to give it a go. But it means I won't be using my pretty little labels. I mean, I can use all the other pretty little labels. But my little address labels, you know, I quite like them. I've got not got one here. Oh, and to top it off, my bag... This morning, I woke up, went, <gasps> and pulled a muscle right in the centre of my back. <laughs> I already had neck ache because of this headache, and I already have low spine ache. You know, I mean, that's, and that's partly sciatic pain. And to an extent, you just live with it, because that is the extent, you know, that is what fibro is like. You just randomly have pains. But it's difficult to know when a pain is something that you need to go to the doctors about. So... I'm going to give it a little bit more longer. I still have my headache. This is on three weeks now. Um, but I am doing lots of neck massages, trying to release any, any tension in my spine. So I thought, scarves keep my neck warm. Ow. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go get on with my day because, oddly enough, I have a lot to do. Here's hoping I can manage my week better. <laughs> I need to program in some times for napping, I think. Mm. Okay. I will catch you, all of you, in a bit. Uh, remember the penguins coming next. Okay, so um, feel free to close your eyes. I haven't added sound effects. Although, to be fair, the penguin didn't scream. So, you're fine. I screamed a bit. And I was sort of flapping a bit, but the penguin was fine. Um, but I, I have <laughs> I've muted the sound. So I'll catch you on the other side of the penguin and the bookmaking.
morning. So today is Friday and it has been a really busy week and yesterday I totally and utterly crashed. I got to, I just made it to 11 o'clock and then I had to go home. Um, I seem to have a migraine or something. It was, it was an absolute nightmare. So, oh, sorry, itchy nose. Um, I am feeling a lot better this morning, but I was just in the right state yesterday. So, um, I think maybe I overdo it a little bit. Just a little bit. I've had help this week. Jane's been in this week. It's been absolutely brilliant. I've had so much to do and um, we were trying to set up some new ways of trying to um, organise the workload so that it's easier to get through. So we shall see, but um, I will explain that in another vlog. Anyway. I wanted to show you a couple of things. I can't remember if I'd shown you this last week. This is for Rebel Jones Designs. Um, <clears throat> it's only a test run. Um, it's got a stitching on the back. I've got better ones of these now. Um, but this was just a test run. And what she wants me to do is try and sew around here. So I'm going to give that a whirl today. Because she wants it to be more like the bad shape. If I had a laser cutter... Um, and then I would have cut the, all the badges out of the right shape and then gone round. Um, not sure it would really save any money though. And it's certainly going to add to the cost of a patch if I have to sew round them. But we're going to give it a go anyway. Um, I've also been making tear pads. Oh, look at these. They are so gorgeous. So these were my first experiments. Um, I actually used slightly too much glue if you can see um, and for some reason they're a bit on the tilt <laughs> but these were my first test runs so I've printed up loads more so I need to get on with making those today so that will be fun um, yeah I don't know why that happened but I don't know if you can see Ooh. it's slightly on that angle I think when I was going like that to flatten them what I did was I did it at a slight angle so I need to remember to make sure they're completely flat down so that is another mission for today so I shall do that um what else um I don't know if you saw my stories I got a flock of sheep I'm gonna go show you my flock of sheep because they are so cute are you ready Come on. Do, 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 do. Look, look. <laughs> Aren't they just so cute? I mean, the first thing I had to do was make sure that they had little air holes to breathe. <laughs> because, you know, plastic isn't very conducive to anyone to be able to breathe. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go get on with some work. I've got a nice little pile of boxes here into the post office um i've got a nice box there that's got to go to the delivery service oh i can show you this i'm not 100 percent happy with it um because the bag was a nightmare absolute nightmare to press but it was a good experiment it says my children have paws and it's done in gold but for some reason this i think this fabric has um a slight waterproofing thing to it but it did not enjoy being pressed at all. It's also quite um, bumpy. So I think if I had something to to um, go inside, a proper cushion that went inside to lift the whole thing up, it'd probably be all right. Anyway, I'm going to go get on. Yeah, I'm going to go get on. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. <laughs> It's very much like that sort of relationship advice, isn't it? Yes, dear. Yeah. Just stick with yes. Whatever. Unless she's wanting to order your house. Um, yeah, it's Monday. Um, sorry, I'm just going to raise you up a bit. Otherwise you get a good view of under my neck and that's all nice. Okay, 
so I am going to sign off now because I'm in the middle of sorting out the vlog um, and for some reason my messenger's going backwards and forth so please ignore that um, I might be tired <laughs> right okay so I'm going to sign off for this week um, it, we, we did a lot last week it was really crazy um, this week doesn't look to be quite so crazy although my order list is still looking pretty long um, but I'm hoping that I'm a little bit more on top of things and a little bit less overwhelmed this week I have actually moved the office around a little bit especially after I did you a studio tour I mean how stupid is that I've now moved it around um, but I now have my cutter and my badge machine and my uh, corner cutter and my Cricut in front of me um, and then over there I have the uh, that bit there is the bookmaker and the mug press and then these are my job bins um, and I've got some job bins down here as well so um, I found that they really helped so I'm going to see how it goes this week see if it's really good too um, yeah I'm going to go and then I can start next week's vlog <laughs> have a super week don't forget to do all the subscribey thingies and say hi and um, if you know who the real Jenny Cole is please do do tell me um, <laughs> I will see you next week hopefully I'll be more with it I had a fight with my printer again it's not as bad as normal I just had to fill up an ink um, but I'm going now Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Have fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, follow me everywhere. See you later. Bye.